Hi, my name's Laura Green and I'm a yoga teacher in Southampton. In today's video I wanted to share with you one of my favourite hamstring stretches. This is a perfect hamstring stretch for pretty much everyone, whether you've got tight hamstrings from running or other sports, or just simply from spending a lot of time sitting down at a desk. It is really important to regularly stretch out your hamstrings, because when the hamstrings get too tight, they can actually pull on the back and be a cause of lower back problems. So let's do this stretch together. For this stretch, you're going to need a yoga strap. And it does need to be a yoga strap. You can't swap it out for a tie or a scarf or anything. It's this one. It has got to be a yoga strap. Some people call these a yoga belt. So if you've got your belt to hand, we need to unravel your belt. So you've just got one long strip of fabric. You're going to have the two metal D-links in one hand. So go ahead and put those two metal links in your left hand. And this other end of the strap, the loose end, we're going to call this the tongue. So take the tongue, feed it through these two metal D-links, then you're going to turn it back on itself. So you're going to go over the first one and under the second one. And you simply can pull it through and make a big lasso. So I'm just going to show you that one more time. It's kind of a bit of the Blue Peter moment in it. So hold the strap nice and long. The two metal D-links in your left hand. In your right hand, you've got the other end, the tongue of your strap. Take your strap, feed it through the two metal D-links, go over the first one, under the second one, and then just pull it through to secure a nice big strap, a nice big loop. So you want to keep it really quite large for this. The tighter your hamstrings or the longer your legs, the larger you want this loop to be. You can always tighten it up. So I'm going to make mine nice and long. So I now want you to hold the tongue and the metal D-links in your right hand. Then pull some strap with your left hand. So you've got D-links here, then you've got a little bit of strap. In that gap, I'm going to place my foot. Okay. So the foot isn't on the buckle, it's just to the side of it. And the really important thing I need you to see is that this tongue is facing back towards me. It's almost like it's a seat belt in an aeroplane. I can pull the strap at any time tighten up my seat belt on my strap. I'm just going to loosen that again for me. Okay. So, strap facing towards you, foot on the inside of the D-link. Then you're going to take the other end of the strap and just place it over the top of your head. Okay. And almost like you're putting a bandana on. You want that to be above your ears. It's not down here on my neck. It's the back of my head above my ears. Okay. You can hold the strap if you feel a bit nervous or having the hands either side of you. It's going to slowly lie down. And then when you truss the strap, you can actually just hang here completely. So I'm not doing anything with my arms. I don't need to hold on. I can just relax here. Now, your head, you actually do want it to be off the floor. So it has this feeling like you're lying in a hammock. So if your hamstrings are quite mobile, you might find that you could take the head to the floor. At that point, I want you to reach up and grab this seat belt and the strap. You're going to pull it towards you, tightening up the strap, okay, so that you can hang here in the hammock. Again, if your hamstrings are really, really tight, you did just strap up too tight, you can just slacken that off and make the, loose, the loop nice and long. It's okay to have a bent knee with this as well. If your hamstrings are really tight, just bend the knee, okay. And then over time, you'll be working to tighten up the strap to have the legs straight. And just hanging out here for a while, close the eyes, being the weight of the head, gently encouraging the leg a little bit straighter, a little bit closer towards you. But most importantly, I don't really want you being very active in the stretch. This is a very passive hamstring stretch. It's just about allowing the time in a restful position your hamstrings just to gently slacken off under no stress, under no force. I notice when I'm teaching that many people force their stretches, they think the no pain, no gain. Actually what you'll find in yoga is if you overstretch or you force the body for that last little bit of stretch, it will actually tighten up and it will be counterproductive. It will be making the muscles tighter rather than more flexible. I tend to keep this stretch nice and still, just hanging out in my hammock. But some people do like to just shift the leg, 
one way than the other. What this will do is it will help you get into different portions of the hamstring, different parts of tightness. So you don't have to keep it still, you can move a little bit if you want. So for me, I like to stay nice and still here. Closing the eyes. Imagining my breath going into the back of the leg, back of the hamstring. Releasing any accumulated tension and tightness. And really, you can stay here as long as you want, up to a few minutes or so. You could do this in bed before you go to sleep to release the hamstrings at the end of your day. Like any stretches, really, the more regularly you do it, the more you're committed to it, the more effect you're going to experience from it. We're just going to stay with this hamstring stretch, just a few more rounds of breath. And then if you're ready to swap legs, you're going to reach your arms up and hold the strap. Bend the knee that's currently in the strap. You can actually stay in place and just bring the other leg up. Reach up, place the strap over the ball of the foot, and you're ready to do the other side. Now you might notice the side feels different. For me, this actually feels slightly tighter today. So I'm just going to slacken off the strap again, give myself a little bit more room, find a more gentle stretch. As I take some time here, the hamstring's already responding. I feel my head dropping a little bit closer to the floor. But now the hamstring's eased off a bit. I'll just tighten up that strap a bit. So I recommend staying here for another minute or so. It's about what you did on the first side. And then coming back to this stretch any time you want. I hope you found this a benefit and I hope you add this stretch regularly to your day. Thank you for watching. Namaste.